What's up, game story? It's your friend is here once again, and I'll be your game guide for today. If you subscribe to my channel, you're gonna get my first impressions, reviews, and tutorials on the top, latest, and trending mobile games today. I upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, PhD. So stay tuned, watch this video up until the end, sit back, and don't forget to take it easy. Alright Gamester, so for today we are going to talk about Dragoon. This is another character in Aura Kingdom 2. We're gonna talk about talents and skills. And uh, what is probably the right build to do for both talents and skills. Before we jump into that, let's go ahead and check out the comments from my previous video. Alright, so we got a comment from uh, Pet Malu Lodi Werpa. Nice tips again, sir. Alright, so thank you so much and shout out to you, Pet Malu Lodi Werpa. And we have another one from Kev's Castro. So try to make a talent and skills for Dragoon. Thanks. That comment from Kev's Castro is actually the reason why uh, we have this video today. Alright, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the game. Just a disclaimer, my main character is Elementalist and we were lucky enough that one of our gamester allow us to borrow his character which is a Dragoon. So here's what I did so this is going to be much easier for you to build the skills and talents for your Dragoon character. Alright, so what is Dragoon? So this is definitely the tank in this game, Aura Kingdom 2. So the first thing that I did is to classify the skills. Alright, so that we can come up with the right talent or build for our Dragoon character. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the skills. So I classify the skills into two types. One for damage and one for defense. Okay, and I have listed it. So uh, what we have for uh, damage, our damage skills are... Dra Dragon Charge, we have Dragon Charge right over here, and explain. I'll explain it to you in a bit later. Dragon Charge, we also have Wing Buffet, we have uh, 100 Halberds right here, and we also have Dragon Fury right over here, and this last one, Dragon Siege, is definitely a damage type skill as well. So that's what we have for damage. And then what we have for defense are the rest, of course. So we have uh, Dragon Swipe right over here. We have uh, Dragon Impact. We have Pivoting Spirit Dance. And uh, Dragon Immolation. So now I'm going to explain it to you. How did I come up with this uh, classification? So what does the skills have in common? So what, what they have in common is right over here the dragon soul so dragon soul burst will trigger once dragon soul has stuck five times increasing attack by 10 percent for 15 seconds so if you're gonna check it out dragon charge has it wing buffet has it uh, 100 halbergs has it and dragon fury has it as well all right so this is for dragon soul all right and for the defense skills what they have in common is the decreasing damage taken by 10% for 15 seconds once it has stacked up the 5 times. So Dragon Swipe has it, Dragon Impact has it, uh, Pivoting Spear Dance has it, decreasing damage, and Dragon Fire Emulation has it as well. So that is how I classify the skills. Alright, so we're all good with the skills. Now let's move on to the talents. Alright guys, so how I define these talents is I will make it pretty simple for you. So this part right over here or the first line of talents, let's go ahead and label it as damage because all the talents right over here is going to improve your damage. So this is the damage line over here. To make it simple and then what we have here is the hybrid line so this is a balance between damage and defense this line over here so that's why it's in the middle 
And then this line right over here at the bottom is purely for defense. So if it's all clear, this is damage. This is somewhere in the middle and this is defense. Then what we need to focus now are these four talents right over here. So we can choose which one would you like to use. Okay, game story, there's really no perfect build because this definitely depends on your preferences or the user preferences. Alright, but let's go through it. So, Dragon Soul Burst, additional increase, critical by 5% and movement speed. And then this one right over here, Dragon Soul Burst, increase attack by additional 5%. And then, this one right over here, Dragon Courage Protection, additional recovers own HP by 5%. And this one, increase Dragon Courage Protection damage, reduction effect by 5%. But that's the difference. Now, if I am going to build my own Dragoon, this is how I would do it. Alright, but I'm not saying that this is the standards. Alright, but what I am considering here is what really the purpose of Dragoon is. And which is, that is to tank. Right, so you are expected to tank because if you are expected for your damage, then th that has to go to Elementalist, Assassin, and even Archer. They definitely have a damage advantage. All right, so that's it. If I'm going to build it, I'm going to go this route. I'm gonna start with hybrid, right? Or somewhere in the middle, so that I can get the Dragon Impact Mastery. Why? Because let me show you what Dragon Impact can do. Let's go back to skills. That's actually my favorite one. So Dragon Impact flops wings and deals AoE damage to enemies. AoE which is very good in PBE. Alright, you're gonna need that. And then gain Iron Body decreasing damage taken by 50% for 3.5 seconds. That's it. You see, so that's uh, how good that skill is. That's why I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm going to start with that. And then what's next? Uh, of course, I'm gonna go right here. Increase defense by 15% for eight seconds. This effect can only be triggered once every five seconds. So there's a in defense increase. And then after this three, I'm gonna go straight right here. All right, so which is gonna go through 100 halberd mastery, 100 halberd damage. So we have defense here, we have damage here. So that's why it's called hybrid. And then 100 halberds cooldown. One second. Okay. Cooldown reduction. And then upon hitting a target, 15% chance to increase movement speed. Alright. Which is somewhat like the same at this one. Critical rate by 5% for every 5 set For 5 seconds, this effect can only be triggered once every 5 seconds. So it's somewhat like this buff right over here. 3% and 5%. You see? 3% and 5%. So it's all the same. So I'm gonna go straight through that. And then to maximize my tankiness and to really define what dragoon is i'm gonna go straight down so after this one i'm gonna go right here 45 dragoon courage increase dragon encourage protection damage reduction effect by three percent i can go right here but uh training and enemies with range dragon siege damage attack generate five percent more that's a recovery effect can trigger so yeah, you can go this right as well if you want to but for me I'm gonna go this route so that I can maximize the defense decrease and then after being attacked four times decrease damage taken Dragon fire emulation generates a shield that blocks 30% of incoming damage three times the shield lasts for five seconds and then dragon siege additional decreasing damage good for surrounding and then last but not the least attack a 50% chance of decreasing target damage deal by 1% and all stats 1% for 4 seconds stack up to 10 times this will definitely define dragoon if I can go this route which is more leading to damage or this is somewhat balanced and this is definitely damage but I can never really uh, capitalize when it comes to damage all right, because that goes to other characters out there. That is the build of the talent. And basically what you're going to be using here, as for your skills, you have Dragon Impact. You're going to use 100 Halberds as well. Dragon Fire Emulation as well. You can use up to 5 skills, right? So, in addition to that, if I am going to create my own Dragoon, or build my own Dragoon, I'm going to add Dragon Fury. 
Dragon Fury right over here. Why? Because of this. Trust all bursts into the ground, dealing damage to all enemies within range. So this is another AOE skills, which is very good for Dragoon. Deals damage, 280 attack damage, and then inflicts stun. See, it inflicts stun. Very nice. Affected target can't move or attack for 3 seconds. Gain on stack of Dragoon, of Dragon Soul. Soul burst will be triggered once Dragon Soul has attacked 5 times. Increase attack by 10% for 15 seconds. So this can increase your attack for 15 seconds by 10%. Which is good for your damage. 100 Halberds. The good thing about this is this is the only skills which gains 2 stocks of Dragon Soul. So it will definitely activate your, let's say passive. Let's just use this as passive skills. It's, can, it's going to activate your passive skills much faster. Which is going to increase attack by 10% for 15 seconds all right so i'm going to use again what i'm going to use dragon impact i'm going to use 100 halbergs dragon fire and dragon fury so we got one more so i'll be reserving that one skill is for dragon siege okay but while waiting for dragon siege i would probably get another skill right over here pivoting spear dance because of these. So, raises all regenerate blade aura to fend of enemy attack. Pulls target and immobilizes them for 2 seconds. Increase threat generated by attack for 15 seconds. And then this will definitely add to your defense. Okay, so we have reset all the skills already. So, here's what I'm going to do again. Okay, the skills that I'm going to use is Dragon Impact. It's number one on my list. Okay, Pibuting Spheres. Okay, 100 Halbergs. Okay, Dragon Fury. Okay, and then Dragon Emulation for the meantime. And then I'm going to replace the Spiriting Spears by Dragon Siege later on. Alright, so that's it. So Game Spear, if this video was helpful for you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share this video to those Dragoon users out there. And comment your question, suggestion, or any reaction, or anything that you have in mind on the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring that notification bell so that you'll be updated on the hottest and the latest mobile games today. This is Fred once again. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out to everyone. And don't forget to take it easy. Goodbye for now, keep safe always, and see you on my next video. Bye-bye.